ladies and gentlemen, or protocol observed, good morning. Uh, I wish first and foremost to thank the Honorable Minister of Environment of the Republic of Rwanda and also the Honorable Minister of uh, Environment, Climate, Sustainable Development of the Government of Rwanda, Luxembourg, uh, the Assistant General, uh, Director General GGI, GG, Triple GI, for the great initiative to address the issue that we have in the city of Kigali as a municipality, particularly the solid waste and the hazardous waste management that we are facing at uh, municipality level, but also globally at uh, country level. I wish to reiterate the support of the city of Kigali to this project and also <clears throat> other green economy initiatives uh, in our city that we have already uh, started uh, discussing with the team from Triple GI. We shall always be willing partnering with other uh, sister cities, with other uh, countries, sharing the green initiatives as far as the Green Kigali and the Green Rwanda is concerned. Once again, Honorable Ministers, distinguished guests. I wish to thank all stakeholders in this project and look forward to its successful implementation. Very recently, uh, the latest IPPC assessment report confirmed again that the man-made climate crisis is very real and that the global temperature is even rising faster than expected. It is a scientific certainty and evidence that if we do not act now, we will hit the point of no return very, very soon. And for this reason, urgent action is needed. Urgent action to steer away from this scenario is also to redirect financial flows towards organizations, projects and initiatives that need it the most, that adapt uh, to climate change and that do really a systemic change, because this is what we really need. So I think this project will benefit the population with the creation of jobs and services by promoting access to uh, affordable, reliable and sustainable waste management service. And it will not only improve people's livelihoods, it will also have a positive impact on the quality of life and their health. Because health is really important and we know it. And we all know how much our health and a healthy environment are intertwined. So in order to make this partnership a success, all stakeholders must collaborate very, very closely together from government officials to private sector representatives and the civil society. It's only by working together that the project like this ha will have long lasting effects and will make benefit everyone. And that's the aim that we follow. The project comes at a time when scientific community has provided irrefutable evidence of the scale of the impact of human activity on the environment. GGJ has increasingly become acknowledged as a trusted nourishery and implementation partner for circular economy approach to waste management. As a result, GGJ has established projects in Asia Latin America and Caribbean country and Africa that deliver benefit to municipality by using circular economy approach. Our initial estimate indicate that waste to resource project will directly benefit a quarter of a million people in the city of Kigali, reduce greenhouse gas emission by an estimated 35,000 ton CO2 per year. The national environment and the climate change policy identified inadequate waste treatment as well as the increase of electronic waste as one of the key issues and challenges in environmental management, which implies that solid waste management is a critical component required to move towards a green economy. Innovative solutions are needed to utilize the circular economy approach towards waste management in Rwanda. And 
to recuperate recyclable materials, harness energy, and reduce landfill sites. There is no doubt that the project will support Rwanda's accelerated efforts to implement our NDCs so that we can build a country that is clean, green, and climate resilient, and that ensures a prosperous future for all Rwandans. Mm -hmm.